you want to add a video to your background section on Squarespace. Luckily, this is really simple to do. It's actually even easier now than it used to be. So back in the day, you used to only be able to add YouTube links or Vimeo links into the background. Now, thankfully, they've let you add in your own video files. So you can upload a file. I think it's up to about a minute long as a background video. I don't think the actual size of the file matters. It's just the length. So if you can have something under 60 seconds, then that can go into your background video. I'm gonna show you how to add in either a link or your own file. And I'll show you how to customize that as well. Okay, so this is how you add a video into the background. First off, I just wanna say someone left me a comment last week and they said, oh my God, why can't you speak into the mic properly? Now, I didn't realize that I wasn't speaking into the mic properly. And he said, bro, just get a pop filter. And I've never even heard of a pop filter, but apparently this is a pop filter. So it should maybe stop me going. Bah, 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 bah. So let me know. I'm going to rewatch it and we'll see. If not, sorry, mate, but can't do anything else about it. So let's put a video in the background. First off, we want to go into whatever page that we're going to add the video to. So go into your pages. Let's say we want to add it into the about section into the about page, sorry. Then you go edit, we add in a section and let's just say we add a blank section. So we'll add this in and then what we need to do is go into edit section and then background, then video. And you can see here, we just have to click plus and then we've got our options. So we can either upload a file, we can select from files that we've already uploaded or we can add a link from YouTube or Vimeo. This is the most simple one. So you just click it and you just paste the link in there, pop it in and it's done. The other way is, let's cancel this, upload. So you click upload and then I've just got the end screen for this YouTube video, so I'll upload that. It'll take a moment to upload and now you can see that we've got it in the background. What we wanna do is then customize. So we can put a filter on if we wanna blur it. Don't know why you wanna blur it, but you can, like so. What a lot of people will do is do the brightness. So if you want to put a little bit of a um, opacity over the video, then you can do that and that just helps the text or whatever content is in that section stand out. Then you want to change the playback speed. Most of the time you're going to have that at 1x, just make sure it's at normal speed. Then we can set a mobile fallback image. So what this does is if someone is on your site and they're coming onto this section, but the internet is too slow to load the video, it will fall back onto an image, which is easier for their connection to load. So you would just click plus, and then you can upload a file again, or you can select from your library, or you can select from stock images. So we could put something like this in, click add, and then it's in. So if, like I say, the internet's slow, this gets added. Then all you need to do is go up here, hit save, exit, and bosh, there we go. That's in. I mean, it <laughs> doesn't look great, but I assume your video will look a little bit better. So that's how you do that. If you want to make it larger, what you do is you go into edit section and then you can change the height like so. That looks a little bit better, I guess. And then if you want to change it on mobile, what you do is click the mobile view and then you can drag it up or drag it down like so. Obviously, this is a landscape video. So realistically, what we want to do is go into edit section and we want to toggle fill screen. This way, we can drag it down exactly where we want it, like this. So you can see, <laughs> I've put so much code on this website that it's given the bloody video a border. But you can see that you can size your video to basically show the whole landscape aspect ratio of the video. Whereas with the old version of Squarespace, well, with the classic editor in Squarespace, it would make it like portrait and so it would cut off so much of a video which is why a lot of people didn't really use video as a background and also they wouldn't even let you use video on mobile a lot of the time it would just default to the image and so what fluid engine has allowed us to do is have so much more customization with our website so this is the long way around showing you how to upload a video hopefully the extra information has been useful if it has please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.